former world under 21 champion olympic youth champion as well looking to compete for brazil or well, she will be competing for brazil in her first olympic games in tokyo she's serving to get brazil underway here in their quest for making the final four from the right side to the line it's very well done from duda to start with skipping into the line making a great defensive touch putting herself completely in rhythm setting herself up agatha will do the rest wins for this team in hamburg world tour finals in 2018 ostrava in 2019 great performance in ostrava from them and also in tokyo two wins in quick succession good control keeping the ball off the net from duda makes it difficult for agatha but is there an air Looks as if it's gone the way of Brazil. Well, for the first time, Russia get themselves on the scoreboard. Well, that was a big victory for them in Espinho, the four star, back in July 2019. It seems like such a long time ago, but also. Not such a long time ago because of the pandemic. Not many volleyball events in between. Agatha just goes away from the body into the sand. And for Colomina, Macro goes over. They beat Kelly Kleiss and Sarah Sponsel in the final that day. The Americans who are looking for an Olympic place. But the Russians look like they're heading towards the Games as well. Currently in 14th position towards the Olympics. That would be a fantastic achievement because... They're just still so young, the Russian pairing. There is Macro goes over on two. The two balls, such a threat. Facing the line and just working it away from the body. Macro goes over to serve and run into block. It's an ace for Russia. Absolutely. goes over serving once more chasing in to try and get set passing off the net from Agatha it's made it difficult for Brazil but it's also made it difficult for Macro goes over to cover that ground to get in front of the spiker to penetrate the hands over the net Brazil out of system once more but one thing they do well is ball control but Russia holding their own here over rotation on the angle guides the ball the wrong side of the sideline from Svetlana Kolomina Well, for the Russians, some great victories on their way through. And Espino wins against the European champions, Heydrich Vesha Dupree. Wins against Belova, Yukolova from Russia as well. Another big Russian team with Olympic experience. But Russia are putting a lot of time and effort into this Russian team. They really believe that they can be a world force to be reckoned with. But so is Duda. Duda for so long has been wowing the world tour with her ability to jump off different legs at different times. Even when she's out of rhythm and sync, she can still score. Ball's underneath Colomina. And because of that, she loses her height. The ball drops inside as well. You can always tell when spikers underneath the ball because when they land their weight goes backwards two ball once more good two ball as well turning that one back it's going to make an interesting spectacle for this one service error russia running the two ball going to make it very difficult for the brazilian blocker and defender to keep an eye on things and proceedings there deep breaths needed the heat has been crazy but you would think if it's if there's one team that the heat would benefit it might just be brazil here we've got guto coming up later and guto has been on magical form this week in the men's competition 
got some great games coming up, haven't we? The final fours coming through, and it's really nice to be here with you, covering all 12 games. Myself and Clayton Lucas today. First on the FIVB, covered all courts. Centre court with commentary throughout. Doing great things there. You can also get more coverage and content on Beach Volleyball World and Volleyball World Online. Setting three touches this time. Good look. Dude has stood really wide on the angle there. Maybe a little bit too wide. Would have been tough to hook that one back for the Russian. Two looks. Fantastic from Duda. She has a couple of looks at the court. She's looking for the blocker defender. And then she makes a decision to go back across the body. And there's just no digging that. She looks so much to the line. So she tells everybody, hello, I'm going this way. Before chopping it back the other. Four points here in paradise. The difference between Brazil and Russia. Spin serve from... Duda into this breeze. The breeze has been whispering away into the face of the team on the left of your screen throughout. Colomina serving. Someone shouting from the sidelines, isn't there? Agatha. Sounds as if it's the Brazilian coaching staff. It's normal. Agatha. Such an experienced campaign and out won four times with Barber, including the World Championships in 2015 in The Hague. They beat Fernanda and Tiana Lima, who, funny enough, Tiana Lima is up next against Anna, Patricia, and Rebecca. So, two World Championship finalists from 2015 still playing. And funny enough, Talita is also playing as well. Talita took a ninth in that 2015 World Championships with Larissa Franca. Going in short this time on Agatha. Keeping the ball away from Duda. Letting Agatha do the spiking. Agatha, again, makes it look so easy. Bump setting from Brazil. Nowadays, a lot of teams choosing to hand set more because it gives better timing to the spiker, but better rhythm. The turn is seen from Duda. Great defense. Back on one. Good passing. Good setting from Brazil. Okay, that's Agatha again at her best. However... From that angle to pass, beach volleyball, volleyball, about speed and angles. But to be able to rip that one back across the body, or away from the body even, very difficult technical thing to do. But hey, you're, you're not an Olympic silver medalist and a world champion for nothing, are you? And that's Duda. Once more, if you're in the fiddle, go deep middle. Leaning away, but... Again, just such a physical athlete. This team won the King of the Court series in Utrecht. Remember, King of the Court is back as well. Puts Colomina to the sand. As this first set is off to a very quick start, isn't it? Brazil in control. Agatha Duda looking very calm. Agatha's been a great influence on Duda, and you can see why... Brazil have put these two together. Duda maturing all the time. They have a lovely relationship. Slightly different dynamic. Russia keeping these two youngsters together throughout. Learning together the whole way on the world tour. Agatha once more. 
in system. It's a tight setting though. Maglo goes over, really leaking the ball on. Trying to be aggressive into the breeze because that ball might just blow back, but the positioning in the legs is all loud and the arms are doing too much. The angles are all mixed up. The stability as well. Once again, Colomina, great passing. Serving straight down the line, allowing the Russians to pass straight on the turn. Maklo goes over, a little one-handed stab at it. But Duda turns the ball away. Colomina manages to make a read, but it's another bump set that's too tight. Colomina, well, she looks distressed because Maklo goes over, has just put two balls right on the net early on. Unfortunately, when you've got Agatha there, got no chance. That was good enough from Duda. As Duda, who deals with the overpass, she do a bit of everything anyway. They don't look happy, do they? They've had a great run through this competition of the Russians. Sleeky. Aravanti, Penny, Kadakuni from Greece. They won that early on in Pool F. They won Pool F against Kocholek and Wojciech as well from Poland. They had a good week, the Polish pair. And also a win against Emily Stockman and Kelly Kalinski, who have been on good form. Remember, top four team from Qatar. And Russia really came through that one quick, 21-15, 21-16, to set this game up in the bubble. Russia haven't quite had the same success in beach volleyball as they have in the indoor side of the game. They've won so many world championships and Olympics on indoor volleyball, but out on the beach, they've never won an Olympics, and it was only this year where they won their first world championships in the men's side between, well, for Oleg Stoyanovsky and Vyacheslav Krasilnikov. More service straight down the line. It's a good serve. The wind's blowing the ball everywhere, but... Colomino is under pressure. The backspin knuckle is so legit from Duda. Chance for Duda again. It's tight. Two backspin knuckles in a row. Fantastic recovery from Russia. That picture tells you everything, and so does that one. Duda is the director here, running the show, dictating everything, toying with Russia. Well, Duda has been on fine form, but now it's Agatha back to serve. Four will do it. It's been really one-sided so far, but you do always have to fancy Brazil, especially when there's a bit of wind about the ball control that they possess. They're born on it, really. It's the way that they run their things, Brazil. They keep the ball ticking. So many touches. And that's why especially in the women's side of the game. They're still up there with the best. Turning back to the line from Colomina. You have to think now, if you look at the world rankings, the likes of April Ross and Alex Kleinman, so physical in what they do. So are Humana Paradez and Sarah Pavin. The Australians. Also, Kalinski and Stockman as well. They just keep Keeps getting more and more aggressive. So Brazil have to keep an eye out on what the other nations are doing. You can see with some teams are starting to run more two balls and etc. But they are a product of a lot of bump setting. If you look down the years, the likes of Ricardo, Juliana. If you look on the men's side of the game at the moment, the Swedes are now jump setting from a really spiky or spiking like position the game keeps growing keeps evolving and there's only exciting times with this progression of the sport and this sport does progress so quickly year on year Olympic journey after Olympic journey the level changes the level goes up the physicality too was there a touch on that one Brazil 
That doesn't go their way. They still need two here in the bubble. Duda. Serving Colomina. Excellent work in defense as well. But a second chance. Magro Gazova hammers the line. That's a rare moment of joy for Russia in this first set. It's been an uphill struggle till now. Brazil still have nine set points to put this opening set to bed. It's a very quick opening set as well. Junior of a two ball for Duda, but it goes back on the angle. And Agatha with a great set. And you think you can hear the coaching staff in the background applauding that play, moving the ball through different zones. And it's a good swing from Agatha. She just misses by the narrowest of margins. Duda from the center, off the hands. And there you have it. The opening set has gone the way of one of the world's best teams in Agatha and Duda. It really has been a dominant display The Russian blocker. Now there's the Makro Gazova. That opening set was gone past very, very quick. Agatha and Duda, they won five times together already. Brazil, well, the most successful nation in world tour history, especially on the women's side of things. But America sneak it when it comes to the Olympic Games. the Brazilian coaching staff on the outside cheering on their team they want to keep the focus keep the intensity the standards are high always for Brazil as we get underway there's a rush swing when we look at the all-time women's career victory list Larissa Franca still at the top 62 wins comes to individual victories in beach volleyball. Agatha just having a discussion with the first referee here. Still on that list, Kerry Walsh Jennings, Juliana, Misty Maid Trainer, Talita. We're about to see Talita as well. Fifth on that list is some effort, 34 wins. Backspin knuckle again. Chance for Russia to take a two point lead early on here. That will give them some hope. Maybe a little bit of spirit as well. They looked a little bit lost in the opener, didn't they? But they're young, and that's a great knuckle over the top of Agatha. Teams will choose to go over the top. It's actually Duda at the net that time. Bit of split blocking, maybe. Someone found it funny. From the middle. Duda to the line. That's maybe one of the toughest swings she's got on there from that center area to open up with the arm swing, to access more angles, and to really hammer through. Colomina goes late to that area, but she's beaten. It's good vision, but to have the arm swing to be able to turn that ball is great. From the right side. Good passing. Looks as if the setting from the Russians is really an issue at the moment. Bravo is the call from the Russian coaching staff. Coming in on an angle, Kolomina just turns it away from the blocker into the space. That's better. 
They look a bit more composed here. Miss serve. Well, the road to the games. The stop off point is Ostrava. Five more events to make. The Olympics. And that's a great two ball. The tempo of the two ball has to be perfect of the pass to really pick it and go in any direction. But they're just backing the fact that the two ball can be Agatha to the net. It's a very shrewd play. And it makes sense because the blocker is under stress the whole time. Back in system. Oh, hammer. Agatha, once again. She loves that one away from the body, doesn't she? Still not in the top 10 of experienced players when it comes to tournaments in the World Tour. Still led by Arvaniti from Greece, 181 events. Delita Antunes, who goes next, is 180 events. Carolina Salgado, 180 as well, back to the line. Brazilians just seem to play him, play him, play him, play, don't they? Stats brought to you by bbbinfo.com. Tim Simmons, David Wagner, always providing the goods. Oh, where's that one gone? And who's the guilty party? I think that's Duda. That was as rash as they come. It's almost ended up over the advertising boards or maybe in the ocean. Good passing. Anyway, back 5-5. Five, five. There's a little bit of spice in this one now. Off the hands. Really good from Russia. Looking to speed the ball up again on two. Just trying to move the blocker. Rush them around. But Agatha. Okay, Agatha. This is good. Nine victories for Agatha. Puts her in 23rd place. In the overall ranking, well, in the greatest of all time when it comes to World Tour victories. So above the likes of Sarah Pavin. <laughs> Russia. This time just turn the ball away. Maglu goes over on the cut short. Very good. And this is just providing to be slightly tighter than... The first set, the first set was really run away, wasn't it? Back in system to the line. And when Agatha passes there, she's really strong because what we've seen from Agatha is from that same position, she can hit the sideline away from the body and now she goes back through the body to the left sideline. Great dig from Duda. Sat in the pocket. Also, Colomina sat in the pocket. That's a, almost a perfect dig as well in transition. And that's why the coaching staff are happy because there's another change of ends and there's nothing between these two teams. Really good stability. She goes to the ground really slowly to stay stable. And then she knows that Duda now split blocking and going in is a target because she's had to cover so much distance to get in and block. You can go off the hands. Agatha and Duda have a 20 wins to five losses match mark in World Tour quarterfinals. They win a lot more than they lose at this stage. Macro goes over Colomina in two and seven at, in their eight matches in a quarterfinal. Head to head, they played each other four times and they've won two each. So it just shows that nothing can be taken for granted. The last two actually have been won by the Russians once in that. Spino four star. There's a lot of volleyball left to play here. Deep breaths from Agatha. She's running into block this time. Having do the block in transition hasn't really worked for them a couple of times in a row. So Agatha's just saying, okay, I'll keep going as well. But she's probably saying, hang on, Duda. I'm 15 years older than you. Colomina. 
outstanding junior pedigree this team they really shone brightly on the CV underage tours they won in Baden the under 22s which is a tough nut to crack beat Romania I wonder what happened Adriana Maria Tai, very good player Beata Vaida from Romania don't see them around on the world tour as often now Polomina slots that one away and also Tina Laudina in that same under 22s Anastasia Klavchenica they finished fifth so it's always interesting to look back on history and see where these players have built their careers from and that was a great turn back to the line 9-9 nine, nine. more joy for Agatha she comes in so nicely doesn't she leave the ball she knows that she hasn't really got a powerful attack there she's lost a little bit of her rhythm underneath the ball she's looking up so with that she loses her vision of the court and where the defender and the blocker are but at the same time she manages to find a solution and that's what playing offense is about quite a lot of the time tight play back on the cut shot Colomina the thing that makes that so good is that she shows so much line in the air that the defenders are buying into that the whole time shifting around shifting around and bump back on the angle good night Agatha oh, she won't have too many angles to put this ball away but she does try and hit an audacious one doesn't go over the net when you lose your angles you lose your height trying to access those angles that you've already lost 11 10 the technical timeout has come around once more from Cancun and it's Russia that lead here Nobody saw this one coming after the opening set. Well, they're talking a little bit more now, the Russians. Fairly quiet stuff in the opening. Brazil have been a little bit vulnerable as of late, but maybe the timeout's done them some good. It's not a bad pass from Agatha. It's a wonderful shot from Agatha. Again, seeing everything. Turning the ball very late to the line. Colomina, Macro Gazova will be receiving serve. Colomina, the target now. FIVB top rookie in 2018. Prestigious award out there on the World Tour. But talking of prestigious awards, Duda won that same award in 2016, but she's also won Best Server, Most Outstanding twice, Best Offensive Player twice. Anything else from Agatha? Definitely present in the future. Also, Anna, Patricia, and Rebecca coming up next. So it's going to be interesting to see the old school versus the new school in Brazilian volleyball in the last quarter final to see where we're at with Talita and Tiana Lima up against Anna Patricia and Rebecca. Timeouts coming from Russia because it's a three point swing for Brazil. Duda sees the block go into the angle. Good night down the line. First time for the Russians playing in Mexico. Difficult conditions. It's definitely not a vacation for them. They don't look like they're enjoying themselves too much at the moment because they're one set to zero down and also two points down after a three-point swing has gone against them. Agatha and Duda and Cruz 
Control. Well, Agatha Duda, oh, it's not the first time we've seen Duda <laughs> absolutely thump one out the back. It's because the wind is blowing from that direction. So you're more than entitled to give it a bit of extra venom, a bit of extra pump from the baseline. But that's far too much pump. Oh, Agatha. Dirty. That one bounced out of the sand in the middle of the court. This good run is cons well, continuing for them. Bump set. It's a really nice sliding ball away. She can't get the ball any more back on the angle than that, but the wrist is working so hard in the arm to show one way and go the other. Off the block of Agatha this time for Colomina. Great swing. And hit through that line. Hit high. If you hit steep, it's going to be in Agatha's zone. You don't want it in Agatha's zone. You want it to be testing that zone and going off the top of the hands. Great setting. From Duda. But it is a little bit too tight. Magro goes over. All over it. You have to be impressed with this Russian side. Cool, calm, and collective. She's so high, isn't she? Six foot tall, Maklo Gazova. Strong outside hand from her. This is the guy absolutely running the show here. Lift. For Brazil, so it's a point for Russia. Graphic slightly wrong, I think. It's the top left of your screen. There you go, much better. From the left side, cut shot scene. It's a really great starting position from Colomina. She's not starting on the left side of court. She's starting on the right-hand side. An inside position and sweeping down depending on what she sees. And that persistence in defense really does work out for Russia. Two point lead. And now it's the turn of Brazil to take a timeout. It's nudging towards a third hit. Wow. Remember. This team. Have won 20 quarterfinal matchups in World Tour Volleyball. Only lost five. It's a lot calmer out there today. I've seen some choppy waves in the background throughout this week in Cancun. Still looks pretty inviting, doesn't it? Imagine of all the places in the world that you could have a bubble for three weeks. Cancun would be somewhere near the top of the list. The FIVB and local organizing committee have done a wonderful job getting this over the line during a pandemic. Big safety commitments from the federations. Players and athletes have to be in a mask at all times, keep their distance. And also in the hotel, they can't socialize. They have to eat dinner in their own team. Off the hands of Macro goes over. High swing from Duda. Just gets in there and tries to hit high. Back to one here for the Brazilians. Good time out from them, but they need to do a little bit more here. If they want to get this done in two, get their way into another final four. Big from Colomino, it really is. Duda is one of the best defenders in the world, but that was too high on it. And too fast as well. Steps into that angle. It's a good read. Gets caught a little bit late in going backwards. Mac 
Frog is over from Klasnodar. Miss Servant. Look at the reaction. It tells you everything. They've kept a lid on their emotions, the Russians, so far. But at this moment in time, it's crunch time. And especially at the good end into the wind, you want to be making no serves count. Agatha. Running in cross court. It's a long way for Agatha to go. But the setting, once again from Russia, has let them down. Serving on the long angle, Agatha. It's Kolomina this time that sets the ball over the net. Expecting it to come back in the wind, maybe, but Agatha is there. Race to four. Too clear in this race to 21. Good setting this time from Russia, but Agatha's there once more. Makro goes over, manages to recycle it, and turns it away from Duda. Big point in the context of this one, but it's an interesting situation as the change of ends is coming now. And it's Brazil that go to the more favoured end here. Russia serving Brazil. Agatha the, the target. And Agatha goes straight to Duda and gives a, I was going to say a cuddle, but it was more of a power hug. Because Agatha passed very quickly, so Duda had to really work hard to get a good set with a good tempo into the hitting zone of Agatha, and she did it well. Fortunately, there's a miss serve. Agatha, it's Duda that goes 100% into the middle of the net. Okay, Macro goes over, has a chance to make up for the misserve a few moments ago. Serving with the wind at her back, she can't afford to hit it too heavy. So she drops the ball in short. It's a great serve on Agatha, who also does well to get underneath it. Colomina, chance to bring up set point. Huge, but it's just left lacking into the bottom of the net. Bam, Brazil are, well, joyous to say the least, because that's a game changing play from them it's not all about killing the ball at the first phase of the attack but what Agatha did well there was build through the rally and now we're at 19 all underneath from Macro goes over the tide's really turning here Brazil at the good end chance to bring up match point and it's another shrewd swing from the good end Colomina on her knees. Agatha with the bump set. The passing and setting slightly better from Brazil today. And that off body high swing to the corner electric. Match point for Brazil. To seal the fate of Russia. They will have to settle for a fifth place. Anyway, can they side out to stay in the match? A back set coming. Macro goes over to Colomina. Waiting patiently as Duda with the first opportunity to put them through to the semis. But there's a big collision. Absolutely massive collision with the Nets. And we're at 20 all overtime. That was the opportunity. A rare setting error from Agatha. Just got caught underneath the ball. Makes it very difficult to guide the ball from there. Tension building in Cancun. Race to 22 here on the World Tour. Oh, what a block that is. Maglo goes over. Has just ended Agatha onto the floor. Fascinating moments in this one because Brazil had match point. Now Russia have set point. Off the net from Agatha. Good setting from Duda, but they've chased down the line. They've gone in with a really late angle block. Chasing the line is Colomina, but sat in the pocket once more is Duda. Massive point for both teams. Oh, my word, Duda. We've seen this so many times. Whether it's rinsing aces in Rome at the World Tour Finals, set point down, or whether it's here in Mexico, 
just being aggressive. Full risk for full reward. Twenty-one all. Change of ends, and it's good news for Russia because they've gone to the so-called good end. Tomahawk. It's a gator, really, from Duda. Second set point for Russia. Duda has been asked a question from the right side, and two times in a row, she's just come up with a good set point down, hasn't she? First time that break block from Russia. Now they break the block again and oh, it's a thunderous thud into the sand. Wow. This game giving us everything. Russia are very much alive in it. They actually have the advantage because they're receiving serve. Siding out to stay set point up. But Brazil, if they get a break here, then ties are turning again. Two ball against Agatha. And it's a great decision. It's a fantastic pass at this time it really is because the ball served on a straight angle to create the angle with good tempo in the path of the two ball while Agatha is running in it's a sight to behold this is great volleyball from both sides snuck down the outside hand third set point for Russia Agatha the target now again because Duda has made two big clutch swings okay Agatha just makes a clutch swing instead maybe Colomina will wish that she would have made the dig there she certainly wishes she did, but maybe she should have made the dig. In a great spot, wasn't she? Just goes to the floor. Maybe she could have adjusted. Cushion the ball up. 23 all off the net. High and wide. And now the tables have been turned. Because Brazil have just been consistent enough. They've answered questions when they needed to. They really have. Three or four swings to stay, stay in the set. And they just brought their time for a Russian error. The young Russians now. Second set point for Brazil. And Colomina fires out the back. They've had to dig deep here, Brazil. But they have experience. They have class. And they've done it in two. Multiple set points for Russia. Who storm off the court. But Agatha and Duda make it 21 wins to five.